Welcome back fellow problem solvers, Jan Oosthuizen here, John East as you know. Yeah! Numeric patterns, linear sequences. Stay tuned to find out how a constant difference or things that are constant in life actually help us to move forward. Stay tuned and you'll understand what I mean. Welcome back fellow problem solvers, hope you're doing well. So let's just quickly look again with numeric patterns, that's where we are with the work. And we are going to continue with linear sequences now. Okay, so how to discover a linear sequence? We've talked about that already. This is the key thing you're going to look for. Constant difference between consecutive terms. That is your key right there. The moment you get this one, you are sorted out. Let's look at various examples. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc. Now what do you want to identify here? That we are adding 2 between consecutive terms. Now let's look at the second example. Let's start with 2 as well. 2, 1, 0, negative 1. Negative 2. Can you identify the constant difference? Yes, it's a minus 1. We are subtracting 1 or adding a negative 1 to each consecutive term. Let's look at example 3. Um, let's start with a 3. 7, 11, 15. What are we doing? We're adding a 4 to every consecutive term. Okay, so I know this part of the chapter we are not yet working with the formula to calculate this, but I just can't resist it. I'm going to show you the formula anyway. So, this value that we are adding to it, this plus 2, or the negative 1, or the 4, that we are going to call that constant difference, okay? You already know that. Our formula, let's say y will be this value, the 2 or the 4, what we want to calculate. Then y will be equal to this 2 times x, and x is the, the, the term number. This is the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, and the fifth term. Okay, So we're asking ourselves, if we say 2 times 1 is equal to 2, then should we add or subtract anything to get to that too? No, nothing. So this is the actual rule. Let's look at this one. Y will be equal to negative 1 times X. Again, that's first term, second term, third, fourth, and fifth term. So for the first term, X is 1. So Y equals negative 1 times 1. What do I need to add or subtract to get to this value 2? Well, we need to add 3. So this will be the rule for this term. Remember, these rules only come in later. All I'm doing now is I'm showing you how it will work. y is equal to 4x. Remember, that's why I get the 4 from. That's a constant difference. And now... We know the first term is 3, the second term is 7, the third term is 11, the fourth term is 15. For the first term, if we make x1, 4 times 1 is, is 4, what do we need to do to get to a 3? Because that's the value of the first term. We need to subtract 1. And this is how the cookie crumbles. This is how the rules work in order to just quickly calculate these values. So yeah, stay tuned for more and enjoy your day.